And welcome back. Well, each year, BronxNet and BronxWorks teams up to take a winter dip and raise awareness of homelessness in our city. Well, joining us now to share a little bit of those details about taking the plunge is Ken Small, Developmental, Dire Developmental Director at Bronx Works. Try saying that twice, you'll always mess it up. We welcome to the show, and uh, as always, good to have you. Darren, it's good to be back. Thank a you. And on a very serious note, I mean, last week was a, a very serious time in right. terms of the weather, frigid yeah. temperatures across New York, uh, and a lot of concern about the homeless. Right. Front and center, you know, let's talk about that for a second. Yeah the work that's being done because right. there's a law that's actually out there right. that really deals with getting people indoors in temperatures well, like in, this. In brutal weather like the weather conditions that we've had since December 25th, Christmas Day, uh, one of the mandates that the city and the state have is if there are people on the street that we have an obligation to find a warm and safe space for those folks. and. Bronx Works is the organization that has the homeless outreach initiative that serves the borough of the Bronx and our homeless outreach team is always active, but in particular in extreme weather conditions like the conditions that we faced over the course of the past two weeks. Mm -hmm. And as a result, uh, the Bronx Works Living Room Safe Haven Facility, uh, we've been able to get a lot of folks who had been on the street, off the street, into that location as well as into other sites uh, that Bronx works overseas and uh, sites that other collaborating organizations oversee. Were you, uh, from your glance, did it look like there's more out there this year as compared to last year or how, how are things looking? I think the real concern is not what it looks like from one year to the next, but what can we do to make sure that we can get those who are on the street in very difficult conditions off the street. And I think as usual, our homeless outreach team has done a very good job uh, in that regard. And many of our partners that we've worked with, they've also been extremely helpful toward that end. Uh, it's always a challenge. Uh, and it's not just this time of year, but conversely in the summertime when the temperatures are extremely hot, uh, we look to do the same sort of thing. So for us, whether the weather conditions are extremely hot or extremely cold, we're looking to get those who need help off the streets and into a safe space. Speaking of weather conditions, obviously the weather conditions are cold and during this time of year it's cold, January, February, <laughs> but uh, there's a partnership that you have, and we have, and we have with you guys in terms of dealing with this. Uh, and Orchard Beach is the site for- Orchard Beach. Yes, is the site for taking a dip uh, in the fight against homelessness. And uh, yeah. it's a partnership, of course, between BronxNet and Bronx Works. Share with those who may not know a little <laughs> bit about it, uh, the history behind this. Well, it's something that began back in 2015 and BronxNet Executive Director Michael Max Nabi confirmed with Bronx Works Executive Director Eileen Torres. And folks wanted to do something about this issue, the issue of homelessness, and they wanted to raise awareness of the issue. And we saw the polar bear plunge as being an opportunity to make that happen. And, and I know for a lot of people it's like, what does dipping into Long Island Sound have to do with homelessness? But part of it is to raise awareness. Another part of it is also to have folks do something to help support those who may be vulnerable. So I know there are a lot of folks who may want to go out to Orchard Beach on February 17th. We're making provisions for those folks. But if you aren't compelled to go out on that day, you can support us in other ways. You can make a clothing donation. You can support the teams of people who will be participating in the event. You can do other things to help raise awareness of the plight of street homeless uh, persons here in the Bronx as well as in New York City in general. I'm going to join you on the 17th of July, <laughs> <laughs> February. No way, but but uh, honestly, Darren, you know you, you, you can you, always dip into your pocket. That's right, I'm, and I'll dip into my wallet and, def <laughs> and definitely help out. But talk about this because you do get, and, and I was in, in, in a joking way, but seriously, you yeah. do get a lot of partners yeah. who honestly come out and really take yeah. part of this and, because and, and they the understand event, the need. The event has actually been growing. When, when we started this back in 2015, we had a relatively small gathering at the Orchard Beach site, but this is going to be our fourth year of doing this and we're expecting to have a larger contingent than what we had 
in 2017 as well as in 2016. And we're hoping to generate about $5,000 in financial support. We're also hoping to generate a good quantity of donated goods, uh, things like clothes, socks, undergarment, uh, things of that sort. So give us a little bit of this perspective. What do we not know in this thing called homelessness? Because a lot of us see it uh, from, uh, from a faraway <clears throat> perspective. And there's some things we're just not, we're just not getting. But you're, you have boots on the ground. What is it that we're, we're not seeing that we should know? I think probably one of the big things we should realize about the plight of street homeless persons is it could be anybody in some regards. Uh, all it really takes is for a person to have some traumatic experiences, a person to perhaps lose their employment, a uh, person to have a medical condition that for whatever reason causes them to exhaust all their resources and before you know it you're in a situation where you don't have a place to stay. So I think oftentimes we see people on the street, we look at them and we just kind of pass them by, but I think what we have to realize is that person on the street could be us if certain unfortunate things were to happen and we need to reach out to those folks who are most vulnerable. We need to show some empathy and we need to connect them to resources that can help them to turn their lives around because indeed uh, when folks get the necessary help uh, they can indeed turn their lives around. Mm -hmm. And we just saw some uh, footage of the Bronx polar bears doing their thing getting in the water uh, and wait in the water wait, wait, <laughs> waiting in the water right <laughs> what's the response that you've gotten since we've taken this on it's been a very good response in terms of folks participating in the event itself I think every year we've done it since 2015 the number of participants has grown uh, in addition to Bronx net and Bronx works being partners there's the Bronx polar bears who participate in the event and we're hoping to not only have them again, but perhaps to have groups of polar bear folks from other parts of the New York metro area. Uh, you may know, Darren, that New Year's Day, the polar bears out in Brooklyn did their plunge, and we're hoping that perhaps they can join us in this effort to uh, not only have a good time at Orchard Beach, but again, to raise awareness of the plight of homeless persons here in the Bronx and in New York City in general. So nice, they should do it twice, how about that? That's right. Exactly, so listen, for people who want to be a part of this, how do they go about being a part, whether it's coming out to Orchard sure. Beach or whether it's actually giving donations? Sure, there's information on the Bronx Works website, there's information on the Bronx Works Facebook page regarding the event, and if folks want to call Bronx Works, specifically regarding the dip against homelessness. They can call area code 646-393-4002. Uh, if folks want to make donations of, of goods, uh, there's information on the Bronx Works website regarding various locations where they can drop items off. All right, well, Ken, we want people to make sure they get out there and support this event, but then also support homelessness as well. Uh, or preventing that, homelessness. Oh, yeah, yes, well, yeah, supporting the fight, you know, against homelessness. Uh, and as we said, there's a lot of champions out there as well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we were talking about budget with uh, some of them, Bichardo, before, mm -hmm. and sometimes, you know, that, that, that budget cut can really be a real challenge for you, but you guys have been able to really manage, uh, in spite of all the budget challenges that we've had in the state, to provide some real adequate services. It's always a challenge. Uh, we do our best to manage the resources that we have, and we do our best in terms of working with our elected officials and other funding sources in order to continue to secure the resources that are necessary to address this very critical need. All right, well, Ken Smalls, the Development Director at Bronx Works, thanks so much for coming and sharing with us, and of course, we'll continue to promote getting ready for February, and if you can't go out, if certainly you can Make a donation and help in the fight. Ken, good to have you. Same here. Thank Happy you. Happy New Year. All right. Listen, take a quick break. I want you to stay with us. We've got more show coming up right after this. When we return, we're going to go front and center in the world of politics, take you down the pike to Washington, D.C., and let you know the latest with our political analyst.